fellow Sierra Leoneans, this na Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden. And today, Sunday, January 30th, 2022. This na mi 53rd audio, where we go call audio 053 in the ongoing address to the people of Sierra Leone. Today, this audio they be broadcast late because I mean get quite a few things them we are they do. For example, my late mommy, if you mean they are alive, Today, we mean for celebrate in 77th birthday. I mean for turn 77 years. So, I go na the Ascension Town Cemetery and I make a small celebration for the youth them with the day. As soon as I know, me na the advocate for the young people of Sierra Leone. And I don't be an advocate for them. For over 20 years now, the youth, the mama, Auntie Sylvia. So anyway, in memory of my blessed mommy, I mean go today for just serve the youth, them around some food, drinks, and just small something for themselves. And um, I mean one or two other things them way, I mean they do. So that's why the broadcast they late tonight. And some of them are tomorrow morning gonna go listen them. I go just want to tell God thank you at this point for the wonderful mother we give me. We today we went for celebrating birthday. And I go also want to just mention that every single one of them we don't plot and connive. That's such a wonderful woman. Then for subjecting to humiliation, cursing, molest in memory, in beautiful memory. Every single one of them, we totally do not respect to your mama them. Especially Anis by Kuruma, because I know the kingpin of this mommy cause issue. You know, we one respect for your mama, mommy Alice, we lead on a grave na Makini. One respect in order for them. So we keep on sponsoring this dog, this puppy, where they use. We may not get issue really with him, puppy or in dog, because it's just to use them, sponsor them, and tell them for trying to intimidate everybody. But, and it's like, Roma, definitely, I just begin to deal with them. I just, you know, I just slap, slap in face small no more, you know. Um, they just begin to buckle them from in bedroom, drag and kind of pala for fet them. <laughs> I just begin with that and then just, you know, and just begin investigate, you know, that Malaysia banking axis. <laughs> you know, na Liberia no more, na they are rich, you don't, you know, then just begin, you know, confuse. Like wait till they reach like that senator, that former uh, envoy for Great Lakes. When I did it, you know, I, I get for handle and it's by Kuma. I, I don't slap, slap in face small force, you know, for the fifty people, mama, we, you won't cost me from politics, okay, but you just take me, mama, and name the molester every single day, but nonsense. Uh, I just begin with you and it's by Kuma, trust me. Then just begin buckle you from your bedroom, canapala. Wait, you wait me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fellow Sierraleans, let's come to business today. Today, there are two issues we discuss. The one issue we have to do with the Freetown City Council Mayor and his sister, um, of course, and it's by Chroma, sent threats to him, dog, in puppy, say, he go root me, come up behind the mayor. Well, <laughs> we don't already know for talk about the mayor, <laughs> non-stop. <laughs> so, Lord, he go no more. <laughs> so, today, we're going to talk about the mayor and his sister, Trudy Morgan. Then, um, we also get to talk about something very important, we in the census and the actual Political ramifications with the around the census, we can analyze and break it down for now today. 
So I think I will start off with the census first and then I will end with Yvonne Akisoya and his sister and the UK. You know, like Yvonne, then this I'm here for Sing Self Panam. I think say Yvonne Akisoya, Jankoliko, Tifi, Tifi, Jankoliko, Akataole, Jankoliko. Because I'm in a way positive, positive. <laughs> you think pan and jankoliko. But I will counter that, um, because even, I mean, I mean, you know, the dog, where an can send the dog thing for root me come up being even like a soya in business. So, and now take what we do, go for the tell people them about even like a soya, you know. But for now, look into serious business, look into the census. I distribute a letter all over social media in the last couple of days. We, this is not a letter we, we APC leadership, they may be glad about, they may be the upset for distribute a letter day. But you know, that letter, if people then get critical, analytical eye, then they know say the contents of that letter day is not good for we at all inside the APC. <laughs> and in fact, as I get to explain to them as we go along, when I go catch up how we really don't hand ourselves over to Julius Madabio and the SLPP. So now, before I go to the letter, I want to tell you now something will happen um, 20, about 20 years ago. Yes, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, there was a lot of agitation by Sierra Leoneans, then women, they asked for the elections for happen, the general elections. Because Amati Jankaba, the then president, they may elect them in April, I mean, they take up office in March of 1996. And then they swear in the members of parliament in April of 1996. And according to the law, based on that time day, the latest way them for them conduct the next elections, presidential and general parliamentary elections, was supposed to have been July 2001. That is five years, three months maximum. July was supposed to be the latest time, July 2001. And of course, that same day, I mean, just don't begin to sponsor the Young People's Party. And me, I mean, member of the Young People's Party, Cornelius Dovo, the current National Publicity Secretary of the APC, Makale Koroma, uh, the daughter of Bambi Kamara, was also, in fact, I mean, the women's leader, um, Al Sanko Conte, a strong APC man. Instead of now warming in a young people's party. And I'll spend a little time on this issue because I listened today where Ali Conte, you know, he's very frustrated. Um, I mean, they hope say Nain will be the elected person for this um, young people's congress where I don't go kick, a kick, like a kick, kick book. <laughs> So he's very frustrated that I don't kick him out of the way. This then proposed young people's way. They mean for dating 45 years, then they call themselves youths. So he was frustrated. So today he goes to the party office and he begins to talk how me, me join young people's party. Me, me form a young people's party in 1996. Now me form a young people's party. But I just rubbish frustrated talking in the talk. Young People's Party was formed in 2001, and it got its final registration in 2002. So the issue always made talk to the party office. It's also rubbish, it's also frustrating talk. You know, coming here as FTD, they still say the man, you know, the way we handle the PPRC, how they may want to make grandpa then go to call themselves youths, and I don't overturn that, they're really frustrated. Because, I mean, I mean these people are just wicked. They don't want to give space for this party for grow. Because now only when you allow the real young people them for grow, can the party go able for a rise. So then people have spent all their time sitting in the party office, they attack severe blight, then out then get for Kanami O's, then get for do me this, then get for eliminate me. There are all types of things, this Ali Conte and his squad. But 
The point that the tribe will make here, coming back to the point, is that Young People's Party was not formed in 1996. That's a blatant lie. Young People's Party was formed by Makali Koma, who became APC's uh, women's leader, deputy women's leader, Cornelius Dovo, who is currently a APC spokesman, Ishmael Asanko Conte was deputy minister and a very strong uh, 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 APC stalwart. So many young, dynamic people formed the Young People's Party. And it was formed, I will also issue a video out uh, in the coming days, where I'm going to talk in Liberia about this same issue of Ellen Johnson Salif and Anes Baikoma. So there was a video a recording what talking about one television station. I will release them because I talk about Young People's Party Day. But the point now coming back to this issue of the census. <laughs> what happened in 2001? I remember when the Young People's Party, I mean, one of the agitators, them. One thing about Cornelius Dover, he's a very brilliant constitutional commentator. Instead of not passing back with Sabi the Constitution. So he used, he may use for the call press conference where he can they demand, say, Tijan Kabai must conduct elections now or we forget an interim government. And there was this agitation in 2001 with the agitate that Tijan Kabai for conduct elections. But Tijan Kabai, I mean, they now explained to people then say how for conduct elections if we go to the Sierra Leone constitution section 38 because now we get for conduct elections according to law how they mean conduct the elections 1996 was according to the military junta and the military junta they not mean create constituencies. They may just say the one whole country, any political party they contest, then almost percent vote you get, and as soon as the shape, shape give you seat in a parliament. So now that worked for the military junta. But it not go work for a constitutional rule. Because the constitution where President Momo may pass in 1991, that constitution, they say, we for only conduct elections by constituencies. And we for only conduct elections after we don't get a census. And that census day don't show we the number of people them. Then we will develop now what they call the population quota. We're very important. So for owner when a lawyer, we go on for check the reference them. That's section 38.3 of the Sierra Leone Constitution plus section 38.5, 6, and 7. These are the constitutional law them we President Momo been passed in 1991. He say all elections for parliament is supposed for be by constituency. And then for determine the constituency divisions by population quota. And the population quota now from census figures now did them for Pula. Now, in 2001, Tijan Kaba for explain to people then say, well, on all the halas on a one election. But on a member now saying that under Sierra Leone 1991 constitution within our rule, we're not there again under Junta rule. We're not there again under MPRC. We then can just give rule in almost city, one who comes in a one constituency. He says, so right now we're not getting no census. We not don't conduct census from 1980 something. He said, we not conduct census in this country. He said, so how for the population quota? We not go able. How for divide constituencies? He said, we not go able. So that dilemma, the ninth Jan Kawami they use now, we Cornelius Dovo, then they agitate, say, we forget interim government, we forget election, or if you're not able to give election, we forget interim government. 
he was Cornelius was very vocal at that point on behalf of the YPP Young People's Party. At that point in time, there was a famous lecturer, and this lecturer was an SLPP man. Now, he came up with an idea now, see. That section there of the Constitution, section 38, not a section we need a referendum for making them change. He says, so for solve this problem, make them amend that section 38 day and put an additional day, Pantapoti Momo Iminse. He said, make them talk now, say, any time where the president looked him, he said, this census where we supposed for use for create population quota, for divide the country into constituency, any time, <laughs> now listen to this point very critical. He said, let them come amend the constitution, make them put and say, any time where the president can find out, say, that section 38.3, we get for do with the population quota, where is derived from the census results. Any time where the president find out, say, we're not going to get a correct population quota, the president forget the right, forget directives, and immediately that directive day, the National Electoral Commission for Obeam and waiting at this directive. In the event that the president can find out, say, the census where they're supposed for use for create the population quota, the census get problem or the census get challenge, is simple. The president just they say, since this census get problem, since this census get challenge, so we're not going to use them for create the population quota under section 383. So since it gets problem, we know they run elections by constituencies. We they run elections now by district block because the census gets problem. And for as long as the census get problem, the population quota go get problem. Now, this SIPP University lecturer, famous man, he carried this proposal to Tijankaba. Tijankaba agreed with him. Tijankaba sent the proposal to Parliament. Now, at that point in time, all the members of Parliament, they only don't gain the want elections. They wanted elections because they were convinced that they were able to campaign. The SIPP may not make so many mistakes that they were able to campaign and they were able to pull the SIPP in the next elections. So in December 2001, all the parliamentarians them, them passed this amendment where they now give power to the president for conduct election usai census problem day. So because of the census problem, they need to get population quota. So they passed this law, and this was a parliament that was made up of six political parties. They all six passed this amendment. So they amended the Sierra Leone Constitution. Section 38 was amended for give powers to the president any time where the census results not able for provide the population quota in Section 38.3. Of the Sierra Leone Constitution, the president automatically they give directives to the National Electoral Commission. Now, my people, I want to show you now how we inside the APC we just don't <laughs> hand with as with Martin say we serve we serve on a silver platter to the SLPP because right now Julius Mother Bill get the upper hand. And I explain how. When I take a look at that letter, 
where the World Bank writes. The one thing we want to notice, what we want to all pay attention to, not the fact that the World Bank said, then they withdraw, then technical and financial support. But when I look at the first paragraph, the World Bank talks something. The World Bank says, as far as them concern, them, World Bank, as far as them concern, that census where APC men do, 2015, the World Bank say that census, they get problem. When I go look at that letter back, and I make a shiba all over social media. The World Bank say, that 2015 census, the quality of them, it get problem. And so they say, now that make them in come on board because they no say that 2015 census get problem. They say the data, the quality, it get problem. So this is a statement from the World Bank we una all not pay attention to. The very first paragraph, the World Bank say, the census where APC do 2015, it get problem. And it not go able to produce quality data. That's the first point. Secondly, all the other agencies, then, the United Nations agency, them, we are around the world, that the agency, then, this, we recognized for census business. The UNFPA and the UNECA. Then in the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and the United Nations the Population Fund. Then see? Then they on board with this SFP government the census. Because then CSF Greece the 2015 census it gets problem. Imagine. Oh. So now it they on record both from the World Bank and from all the other agencies that then Greece say that 2015 census is their problem. In fact, the language where the World Bank letter say it speaks volumes. It say census results critical for programs. He said, but the results of the census where APC do 2015, he said the quality insufficient. <laughs> so for a critical program, the quality is insufficient. When I look the letter, and I make a shiba for now for watch. Now, if the World Bank don't state that in writing, Say the quality of the 2015 census is so poor that it is insufficient. It means we have to be hopeful that the next census, we are the one we then just said and they do now, that now the 2021, December 2021 census, if for be of a sufficient and quality standard. Because if the 2021 census, the one way they say that they do right now, if it turn out for B, a census way not quality, then it means to say, <laughs> I hope that they follow me, it means to say, 2015 census not get quality, 2021 census not get quality, so no quality census not there, which means automatically, according to the 2001 amendment of the Sierra Leone Constitution, the President of the Republic is now mandated by force the National Electoral Commission go get for listening to a directive from the President for conduct elections by district block system. Because there will be no alternative other than to conduct by district block system. Because when you look at what in the Constitution say, 
It is taking the latest census under the act. So if we don't fall into the trap now, Usai will either not take part or the SAPP just don't enjoy knowing full well that this census don't pull na den an and when he pull na den get the advantage because me I don't know for people them who but for me Sylvia Online Cap Blinden for me then start this census nobody no can me us for count so the census it get big question mark but I want me gonna look and observe when I see the SAPP like then they worry, see the census get big question mark. No. By now they will be very worried that they still they do mopping up. <laughs> mopping up when they don't. They should be worried. Somebody like me, we're so prominent, nobody not can have a house for count. Because I mean left instructions that me get see cooperate fully with the census if they ever come, you cooperate. Even when I travel, I left the full list of names of people them with up me us for make sure they didn't give the census people them. But they're not kind of me us. And a lot of people them, they're not gonna the houses them. But when I see SAPP like they're worried, no. And then get a fall back. All they get for say is we more for do a census. But the opposition party they misbehave, they say they don't want census, so everything pull now we are because of the opposition there. So right now, the World Bank self don't talk, huh? say the data from the twenty fifteen census, the quality not good. And this other one we will more do, then pull now we are. So another census we will we use for population quota. So by force now all mango district block. This is where we are. The district block system is where we are. And they are going to blame us in the opposition. That's now we make the census spoil now. Now, if the census come out how they want them, because what are the good and the scenario if the census come out war? If the census come out how they want them, the SAPP, how they want them, then we we'll still use the census how they want them. But most likely, based on what in me they see, the census don't put all. The census don't pull. Because <laughs> as one gentleman talked then this year, December 9th, when I am in the census night, it's almost two months away. How many people will remember again who say them in sleep, who say them in tap? And even some of the plans for that night day, women supposed to be like a float parade where we make people the member. It was not done. So to me, the census na shambles. And if the 2021 census na shambles, and the World Bank and other development partners, they don't put in writing, say the 2015 census, the quality insufficient, go read the letter. Then my people, we have handed ourselves over for an automatic district block system that will be summoned and directed by the President of the Republic. So this is where we are. And this is as a result of bad political thinking, bad political strategists on the part of the opposition. We get for really ask ourselves at the opposition, do we have critical thinkers? Do we have analysts? Or do we just have people who just want to hand over 2023 to the SAPP to win it easily? Food for thought. Now, I will come now to the mayor of Freetown and his sister. But as I tell you earlier, I get for the right. I get for the talk about the mayor. 
because um you know people person is threatening me i will root you come up being mayor you know so well let's see how it goes i'll be talking about the mayor now and there's a lot for talk about the mayor, a lot. You know, she's Jangoliko, Tifi Tifi. There's quite a lot for talk about her. But today I can't talk about one aspect of the mayor way. I want Fritonians to understand what they happen with this lady and what they do. But before I go into handling the mayor on that issue, because I'm going to be brief on this mayor's issue for today. But of course, in subsequent audios, I get for the expose the mayor for a fine one. But before I come into today's topic, the mayor made in our radio to mark radio then this year. And as far as I see the stallywag and the shape shape the thing all over social media about forty something minutes there with phone calls. So are they share are they can pull a small part of waiting the mayor may talk? Just a small part. Are they playing for Ona? In fact, I go play on two terms, so on I go listen and carefully <laughs> when the mayor said they talk. So that play that I did. Just a, it's about ten seconds of what he talk. You know, he talk book, we talk about one hour and more. Till then get for the band at the studio. But I, I I can play just ten seconds for set the stage for waiting I they can talk about the mayor and his sister very soon. So now listen, the mayor. Oh no! If you know anything about the audit, wait till the audit. Now wait till it comes to you, no so. If it comes to you, add the auditor. It not come to you. Okay, on a yari eh? It is talk about how nobody no go audit money will not come na free town city council. It is the flip and way they talk. In fact, I play on back loan and listen and fine. I play on back a second time. Oh no! If you know anything yeah, like about the audit, wait till the audit. Now wait till comes to you, no so. Yeah. If it not comes to you, add the auditor. It not comes to you. Okay, my people. Um, recently the mayor go America. He go to one city where. For several years now, they may only raise funds for water. Before it, before it's on mayor self, for me, they may get that previous mayor. This is a city where they, they raise money for help the people of Freetown for get water. So, they go there and they raise um, money. Um, I don't remember the amount again, but they raise, I think, $100,000 or something as on ball. And um, while he did it, he get for announce he raised this money and he talk again about how implementing partner, get for utilize this money. Okay. Few days after that, then the mayor come back again. That social media, I can't tell we back. He say Jeff Bezos, just a man, very rich guy, Jeff, we get money a lot. He don't send send projects them all around the world for sustain different different projects them, and he say one of the projects now for me them plant trees in Freetown and at the mayor they don't succeed forget this uh, project for Freetown City Council. Now he talk back again say how as you know that as they announce so say the money they now so they announce back again say implement in partner when in Yadu. Now then get for can use this money. So what did this mean? Like take me time and explain to her. It means to say whether they give the money they are, even like Isoya as mayor, he cannot take any own decision with that for implement the money they are. And as soon as you invoice just now, the money they are, nobody in you know, our wants for audit them. <laughs> Because if the money can have free town city council, then then we audit this money. But if the money not can have free town city council, then he say nobody no go audit the money. <laughs> now they see eh? Now one thing where Tijan Kaba means see we cause the war, the corruption. 
So President Kabame passed a law in this country. He passed this law in a procurement act. We create something we then call the National Public Procurement Authority. And this authority now then creates rules and regulation for every money where they come inside this country for the people of Sierra Leone. This was in 2005. When President Anes Baikuma stepped on president, me, I can always praise him by in presidency, the good thing the way he do. I know they ever hesitate for praise him. He said for he come, he come, he strengthen that law and then rules and regulation with President Jean Kabame put in place for ensure say people for follow these procurement issues where they manage money where you collect in the name of the people of Sierra Leone. That's not public funds. Because when person they left go out, you not go as union individual to be specific or come to the mayor. If the mayor go out, he go begin that chest. Me not even like a soya, I want money. I want $300,000. Me not even like a soya, I want $1 million. Nobody not the look Nobody not the look Why didn't they get them money? Eh? That because if they say, me not the mayor of Freetown, and I they ask on behalf of the people of Freetown, for make on a app the Freetown City Council so that we can help the people of Freetown. Now on that basis they they collect the money. This is very important for be noted. These are monies for the public. And the public funds because they belong and they were sought and they were secured. Not in the name of Ivona Kisoya, but in the name of Freetown City Council. So, for me, this is on a na radio, they tell on a flippantly say, nobody not got it, the money, the money not can a council, so I got it. Um, no, that money na council get her. Implementing partner or not, not a you, Ivona Kisoya, then give the money. They gave the money for the people of Freetown. And the law, especially the law where Adika explained to Una now, is that all such monies have to be handled according to rules and regulations. Now, what is one of the rules and regulations? Yeah. When I had can't show Una now. <laughs> Jan Kabami don't pass this law, see. Every project, every money, anything we get for do with the people of Sierra Leone, their money, if it pass a certain amount, when you want for handle them, any part of that money you want handle, if it pass a certain amount, you for do what they call public bidding, public advertisement for everything where you want to do with that money. So under Tijan Kaba, I mean, get the amount. Under Anes Baikuma, I get the amount. Then when Julius Mother Biosef come, he said, don't can't get the amount. If I ask the amount up, so now it's easier for person for thief because of the way how President Julius Mother be on your regime is the amount higher. But what in me know, as of 2019, when I'm in the critical term that we they look for now, Panda Freetown City Council, is that any amount where more than 60 million leons, any amount, as of 2019, any amount where more than 60 million leons, you're not supposed to spend them unless you advertise inside newspaper 
and get the cheapest person we will render in services. Now, the only way we will be able to know if the money then you will come for free town city council, then follow them procedure day. For example, if the money pass sixty million, then for advertiser. Then for advertiser at least three times in a newspaper. The only way we will able to know now if they audit the money. But they not audit the money. Then you when a tiffy tiffy jankoliko or you unscrupulous, you don't go find your family, your family member, or you paddy, the side where they work, or the side where they control, that day they make them pass the money. So as you get the money, so you they tell the donor now, say, not bring a kind of free town city council. Care and go to this other person that they implement. So obviously the donor partner, now they go care and go because now you don't tell them that. What thing the donor partner not know is that now bypass you don't bypass for make them not audit that money day and make them not follow the laws of Sierra Leone as to how for do procurement and their money then they. So now look unto Ivana Kisoya and his sister. Ivana Kisoya and his sister, na in na me a consultant engineer for one thing we then call the UNOPS. This is his sister, one mama, one papa, and blood sister. Then they call her to the Morgan. Now, to the Morgan, they work na UNOPS, United Nations Office for Projects, whatever. The UNOPS office na salon. Now, when I they go na one example, of course I don't wanna say if I can say I go for the talk, but I go for really the talk. It shows how the gimmicks, the, you know, the disgrace way don't bring campaign APC. When they get Irish embassy, the Irish embassy na salon na ya. Then take taxpayers money, the Irish people their money. Then say they want for every town city council. <laughs> they want to build one infrastructure or something, bridge, walkway. Now one councillor, one councillor that way can cost mommy cause, we can cost people their mama. They say that councillor they in, in word. They want for bill some kind and sign for people them for pass. So now then get the, the free town city council, then get the, in the city engineer, then get the team way cable for handle issues like that one day. But free town city council now work with the Irish embassy. <laughs> Say no, let them not bring the money kind of free town city council. Maybe they can go you know, so say even like his and sister they work to the Morgan. <laughs> so that project for do that construction, that infrastructure, that walkway bridge, some kind of bridge with them for walk across. That project today now, one cent not kind of free city council. All things gonna you know, who say even like his and sister they work. Now, another year, even way they talk, say, oh, they're not going to audit time, they're not going to audit time because the money not count to we. So the question I want to ask, why the money not for come not to free town city council? Why the money for go UNOPS? Similarly so, all the other money they will even they go out and get, as they get it soon, the money not for come to free town city council, the money for go to implementing partners. And when you look at the connection with some of these implementing partners, the pattern is so clear. So why are we having our monies secured for the people of Freetown? But the mayor of Freetown, they tell the donors them, say not bring the money can of Freetown City Council. Kerango Yunops, say my sister they <laughs> 
And then now, it get the gumption for tell we say, them money then they wait and care go like Unops, who's an insister day, who's an insister and consultant. It get the gumption for tell we say, nobody not go audit them. So it means to say then hundreds of millions of leons where Irish embassy passed to Unops. It means to say, we not freedom will not deserve for no. The Auditor General not deserve for no. The government not deserve for no. Now, Yvonne and Yvonne's sister, then are Unops. So then they know how much money they spend that, whether they procure, whether they not procure. Nobody not they audit them. On a see the Tiffy Tiffy, on a see the Jangolico, on a see the disgrace. And you know what, me people, them, especially when I wear the APC. Not to foresee Anes by Koma, no know them people ya. He know Yvonne, he know Yvonne in Sister Trudy, he sabi them well, well one. Say them Ben Ben, then Yuki Yuki, then Kuku Jumuku, then Kaino Day. He know them people ya say in the year 2011, which was about 12 years ago, 2010, 2011. Then people ya can convince and it's by Koma in government. This Ivan Akisoya, 12 years ago. This same Ivan Akisoya, and this is same sister where they work now, you know, this Trudy Morgan. Then can they say they form company for Cape Serra Hotel? Then convince Annette for convince Nasit. Then sign a 99 page document. Promise all kind of things under the sun. For Cape Sarah Hotel. My people, that was one of the worst disaster financially we don't ever happen in the hotel industry of Sierra Leone. Look at the Cape Sarah, look at how they take it. don't pass 10 years every day, excuse. Then say, when they're ready for play the game, they say they bring Irish people, them, the, the company named uh, John Tinelli and Sons. They see them bring Irish people them for come broke the hotel. The precious historic hotel we engaged when they keep Sierra Hotel. They say that it cost them more than one million dollars <laughs> for broke the hotel no more. For broke keep Sierra Hotel no more. Then when they don't broke the hotel down, Bio Bio, some of the things they would have been done promise Afriz, Exim Bank, FBN, United Kingdom. If you see, they already contract, 90 something page contract. And it's come as sabi them people, yeah. But still, you can't put your party on this kind of disgrace. You know, very one say this woman, now he played that same Yuki Yuki Pancake Sarah Hotel. Make all sorts of promises with a fake accent. Betray you confidence where you may get in them. You take that same woman day, you go here and the APC party symbol. Now look the shame and disgrace will depend. Just to go get that money, pass on to implementing partners. Then you get the bold mind for tell we say, not for audit. We own money. Wait, because nobody not give even like you the money. Now money, we the Freetonians. Now we money. Because if she goes out there and say, knock in chest, me not even like you I want money, nobody not go get him. When you go out there, clocked, dressed, as the mayor of the Freetown City Council, they make it get this money. Then you get this money, <laughs> you stand and go to your sister in, in UNOP society, or you stand and go to your party there, who's the, the implementing agency there, then you tell we say nobody not go audit them. So when I see, when I can sit down sometimes, when I they really say hundreds of millions of dollars don't come a saloon, when I they will see what will happen with this money, like in the Freetown City Council, tens of millions of dollars don't come, but nobody not able know what will happen with the money. Nobody not able to see because you have all these implementing partners. Who cannot be audited? Tifi, Tifi, Jankoliko, Akatao, Le Jankoliko. Then you get a bold mind. You go on a radio now, they say nobody no go audit them. Tens of millions of dollars brought into Sierra Leone in the name of the Freetown City Council. 
diverted away from the Freetown City Council to implementing partners. So that just you and your implementing partners now now know how now they procure. Now now know so in other words, if then talk if one bag cement the hundred and twenty thousand leons, if where then they procure then say then buy the one bag cement two hundred and fifty thousand leons, because nobody know the audit there, we not gonna ever know. <laughs> when I see the game. So as long as they bring these tens of millions of dollars. And it passes now away from Freetown City Council, pass on to implementing partners, pass on to insist that to the Morgan and UNOPS, pass on to impart the, 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 the different agency, pass on to and the other team we are going to round up today's broadcast with. You'll be very much interested for find out that it they pass some of the money back again to some SLPP big cats, big cats in the SLPP. That then they do then deal here with Ivan Akisoya the implementing partners deal. So where you see, you get a situation now where some of this glaring corruption cannot be acted on that because a chunk of the implementing partners are SLPP big cats. I mean big cats. I don't call them fish. These are cats. <laughs> big cats. Now them Yvonne, Mindegi, this some of them contract here as implementing partners. So they don't want to be audited, these SLPP big cats, cats, you know, push, I got at them. They don't want to be audited, so they bypass the money and give it to the SLPP big cats and give it to Yvonne Akisoya's, where her sister to the Morgan is working, UNOPS, for go build some small bridge, uh, that council or we can cause mommy cause in ward, na frita. And then they say we can't audit. So that small bridge away then build. It's not a small walkway, you know. Who knows? Something like we say now 190 million leons they spend. Who knows? We don't know. Because nobody is able to audit. Because she is now bravely telling us. That when you go find money for we, you know they obey the procurement laws with the Jankaba mean pass, you know they obey the procurement laws with and it's by Chroma strengthening, and neither you know they obey the current procurement laws of Julius Mother Bio. And of course Julius Mother Bio not seem for care. Because all of this happen right under his nose. Because there are SAPP fat cats who are involved. Ladies and gentlemen, this at the end of my broadcast for tonight. So, <laughs> before I actually close down, make a close with the voice of the mayor of Freetown, a.k.a. Mayor Tifi Tifi Jankoliko. My voice, I will close the broadcast with. Thank you. Oh, no, Where's the audit? Now, we think comes to you, no, so. Yeah. Yeah. If it you, are the auditor. It not come to you. In my next broadcast, I will still continue on the Freetown City Council Mayor, and I will also talk about the latest PPRC ruling. Let God bless we all, and I will now end, as I can always do, with the tune of the National Anthem. And the reason why I can play the tune of the National Anthem is because I can want when the tune they play, though they reflect on the words we can they sing when we they sing about the land that we love, our Sierra Leone. May God bless we all. Amen. <laughs>